This is eight and a half ways to get over a log. Number five will leave you speechless. Number one, bunny hop it. This is by far the most effective way to get over a log. This is a method I use in most situations. Even if you can't bunny hop that high, it will help you get over it. Number two, smash into it. Now, this isn't very controlled, but as long as you're using good body position, it gets the job done. As long as, you know, the log isn't that big and you don't mind your wheels being slightly out of true. Number three, pull and unweight. As long as you get your front wheel over it, unweight your back tire and it'll simply roll over. This is the same method as getting over a curb. It's very effective and super easy to do. It's also the most effective way to get over a log once you get tired. Number four, punch over it. While traveling slowly, get your front wheel onto the log and then use the English bunny hop technique along with a quick punch of your drivetrain to lift your bike upwards while shoving it forwards. Learn this and you'll feel like a boss. Honestly, this is one of my favorite techniques to use. Number five, walk it. Hey, it works. And the probability that you'll make it over is pretty high. Number six, pedal kick onto it. This is a combination of a bunny hop and a wheelie. You use your drivetrain to help assist you forwards and into the air, hence why it's called a pedal kick. This one adds the most style points to your riding, but is one of the hardest to do since it combines multiple skills and requires accurate wheel placement. Number seven, pedal kick over it. If you can pedal kick onto the log, you might as well try to pedal kick over it. Pedal kicks are very effective in situations where you don't have much speed and much of a run up to the log. Besides, they make you feel really cool. Number eight, bum jump. Once you master the timing of the American bunny hop, you can actually use the log to bump your back wheel into the air. It should be noted, you may go through a few wheel sets while trying to learn this. Number eight and a half. Hmm, it's better just to avoid this. Next time, I'll stick with option number five. It's a little bit more effective. But technically, I made it over the log. I thought what we had was special. How can you do this to me? As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today, and we'll see you next time. I'm on a quest to find a log, which is actually harder than I thought. Here, loggy, 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 loggy. Here, loggy, 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 loggy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Whoa, this used to be a jump. Lip. Manning. I don't know where it goes, but it's a thing. This might be my what I need. Might be able to push that down. Nope. But I was able to take off all the bark. Alright, crikey! I think I found the log. Okay, yeah, I talk with impersonations, but this might do the job. Oh, that's a beautiful specimen. There. Now I just need to find some rocks to like stabilize it. All right, it wasn't quite high enough for what I wanted, so I kind of lifted it up with another log. I don't know if that'll work, but it might. We'll see.